Iggy Dude Reviews, episode two of Revolution, Change Heat. Quickly, I was not able to do this last night because I was watching Monday Night Raw live in Albany, New York, and it was kind of awesome. Um, but here's the big big things of this thing. It's not going to be a review. Go watch it. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Mom is alive. Okay. Mom is alive. And she finds out that her husband's dead. She's working in some sort of doctory thing. She she seems to be a doctor. We don't know exactly what this facility is. There you go. Monroe is, you know, the guy in power for right now, the Monroe Republic. And there's other republics all over the country, as, as we've gathered. Um, everybody's looking for the power stuff, these little power things, okay? Or, well, Monroe doesn't know what it is. He's just trying to figure out why the lights went off and how to get some power back and he knows there's a way to get power back or he feels it because he's having all these prisoners you know drag a helicopter to camp all right and one of those prisoners is Nora who uh Miles is looking for because he he knows that she can help get Danny back for Charlie because Charlie's all freaking out and this is a family type thing so we gotta keep the family going um and the whole thing in the Nora why she got you know, arrested in the first place was to, you know, get this big uh, honking rifle. All right, rifles are hard to come by, and this is a sniper rifle, and you can do a lot of damage in, you know, a, a time system like this, you know, with no real technological stuff. And they know how to build bullets and stuff, and she knows how to build bombs, so yeah, this is a huge thing for her. All right, quickly, other things. Uh, Grace, who's you know, typing, she's a, you know, surfing Facebook, you know, for 15 years from now when there's no power or whatever. <laughs> Not really. Uh, she's talking to so and so and McGee, and we find this other person who knocks on their door, and his name is Randall. And uh, he's not a berserker, like from Clerks. Um, he also has a power thing, and he's got this cool, you know, zappity zap cattle prod. And this is probably not good for Grace, but I don't think she's going to die. Um, she gets the message to whomever that, uh, you know, Randall is here. And uh, then she probably turns it right off because uh, you, you don't see it, really. But uh, Charlie whoops some people. Danny sees, uh, you know, Giancarlo Esposito being cool and, uh, you know, still kind of praying and stuff. He calls him a murderer and that you like it. And he's like, thank you for your honesty. Um, all right. So here's the theory stuff. Um, Aaron tells Maggie that uh, he's got this power thing. Well, he doesn't know what the he doesn't know what it is. Okay. At this point, he does not know what it is. So we know there's three power things so far. We got the Aaron Maggie thing. Maggie was carrying it at the end. We got the uh, Grace, and we got Randall. And there's got to be more because they're talking to somebody else. I don't think there's just three or four of these in the world. There's probably a bunch. And I think Randall is trying to counteract you know, Monroe, but I don't think he's going to be... A, a pleasant alternative, you know, I think he's just out for power himself um, at this point. Um, I think that Nate is going to turn out to be Monroe's kid, because Monroe was a womanizer back in the day, which means, you know, when you brown chicken, brown cow, without condom, you get kids, and he's young, kind of like Charlie is, so I'm thinking that's what's up. Um, also... They're going to go meet some other new people and stuff. We find out that uh, Miles was apparently part of the beginning of the Monroe Republic or the instigator of it. And it was probably just, just uh, you know, a measure of survival for the first year or so. I think, you know, because he was with his buddy. And um, I'm thinking that, uh, yeah, things are going to get quite interesting. And luckily enough for us, so far, the ratings are really good. See? 10 o'clock hour. Who would have thunk it? What are your opinions? What are your thoughts? Tell me and put them in the comments. And uh, let's make this stuff cool. All right, bye.